You know how when your computer freezes up, when it's just not working right, the first thing the tech guy does is says, have you restarted it? Restarting your computer cures like 80% of the problems. When we do a stem cell transplant, in a way we're rebooting that immune system. If you could do a stem cell transplant from the donor of the kidney transplant, you exchange the immune system of the child for the immune system of the donor, and then you do a kidney transplant from that same donor, you would not need immunosuppression. You would not have the daily requirement of drugs to protect from rejection because it's the same immune system. The kidney is welcomed by that immune system. So the risk of future cancers goes down, the risk of future infections goes down, and hopefully the wearing out of the kidney stops and hopefully it'll last a lifetime. When I met Trajan, he literally told me, I can't keep doing dialysis. He was very clear in his wishes and what he wanted. And if there is a risk of dying because of that procedure, I'm going to take that chance. I was always very, very tired. Even if I slept 12 hours, I always felt really tired functioned really at half of what a normal person really did. Dialysis was a killer because it was three hours a day. Well, and there were times I was literally asking to be put down. Yeah, he would just say, I can't handle it anymore and just let me die. He had been on home dialysis since age nine and his parents had been doing an outstanding job and they were truly partners in his care and advocates for him. And then when we saw him, we had long discussions about risks and benefits. And then we decided to go ahead with a stem cell transplant. It's important to start by saying FSGS is a disease which has many different causes, okay? And so one person's FSGS may be very different from another. So the FSGS that we're talking about here is autoimmune FSGS. And typically it hits children and teenagers. And we know that there is a circulating chemical or chemicals in the blood that's made by the immune system that causes the kidney filters to leak. And for some of these patients, when we do the kidney transplant, literally within minutes, that kidney starts showing damage. He'd already had a transplant from his mom and that kidney disease came back and destroyed her kidney in three months. So it just shows it's truly that patient's immune system in their body, which is so toxic to a kidney. Our nephrologist here had put us in contact with Dr. Graham several years ago. And then after a couple of years, he contacted us and said, hey, we have this new procedure and things we're doing. And I think Trajan would be a good candidate for it. And we kind of started talking. I think for me, I was excited that there was a chance because Dr. Graham had told us it was 95% chance if he had another kidney transplant that the same thing would happen. Even if the kidney transplant is successful and there is no relapse on the underlying disease, a kidney transplanted has a certain lifespan. So kind of like an expiration date, right? But with this approach using the father, we also make him able to uh, live with this kidney like is his own kidney and therefore without really the need of long-term immune suppression. This situation could be what we scientifically call one and done. You know, you do one procedure, the stem cell transplant followed by the kidney transplant and you're done. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a cure, which is really <laughs> mind blowing. For me, really what was more striking about him uh, his desire of living a normal life and the commitment in trying whatever possible to have a normal life and not accepting anymore to live at the level that wasn't satisfactory for him. In the end, as hard as this was, depressed as he was, he was getting up, he was doing that. And so he's really underlying resilience and ability of fighting for his life. I have to emphasize, nowhere in the world are children being treated like this to purposely do a stem cell transplant followed by a kidney transplant. This approach where 
the Dr. Britannia ability to manipulate the stem cells to get rid of the cells that are likely to cause the severe complications and then do a full stem cell replacement, that's unique. I've had so many people reach out to us and just say, Trajan has been such an example of perseverance. So I think you just have to keep fighting and sometimes it's good to reflect and maybe think of a time when you were struggling more and go, okay, I, I overcame that.